Hello my darlings, it's Deanne Dean back with another video and we are going to be talking about something really, really serious. Your money and your business. I recently got a job. Yes. Ooh, and you're like, Deanne, what do you mean you got a job? Aren't you reselling? Yes. But you know, I preach the gospel of multiple streams of income. And with all these changes that Instagram is making, not Instagram, oh Instagram too with their algorithms, with Poshmark is making and eBay is making, it's all these different algorithm changes and program launches and store stuff. You have a store, refund policy. Listen, I don't like people having that much control over my business. <laughs> it makes me nervous. I'm the kind of person that really was not settled within a nine to five because I felt like I worked as a, an, an a assistant buyer for AC South. Um, and within the corporate culture, I always, I was never at peace. I always had a sense of like, they could fire you at any time, pink, pink slip, two week notice, whatever. Um, watching my husband's career in IT, I've seen where companies have closed and yes, you get a severance and da, 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 but you're basically, somebody else is in control of your money, your future, your livelihood, and that, that makes me uneasy. I think that's just the entrepreneur in me. Um, so all these changes that are happening within, you know, eBay and Poshmark's doing all these launches and just different things to tweak their business, really, um, because you're on the platform, but uh, it ain't free. <laughs> They're doing things to make their business grow. Um, and so I was like, wait a minute, I got to make my business grow. And so, you know, I'm always preaching the gospel, once again, of, of uh, multiple streams of income. So I am going back into the visual world, into the visual merchandising world um, as a merchandiser, a contracted mer contracted visual merchandiser I'll be working with a few brands I'm not gonna tell you who those brands are yet because I don't want you to get jealous okay um, but I'll be in and out of these malls so I may see you in these streets um, but I did that because I let me fix myself I did not want to be on the losing end of an algorithm change okay Whenever these businesses, whenever these companies, these apps or whatever, when, at the top level, whenever they want to tweak something, it always ends up messing us up. For instance, they did something with some change and I got an email saying that they erased pictures. And I'm like, what do you mean you erased pictures? I could just see all these, you know, resellers or just random sellers that have to retake pictures because they made a change on their end, top level, that messed us up on, on our end. Um, and that just makes me uneasy. So I'll say all that to say, I want to give you a few tips. I want to help you if you're someone that is already reselling, if you're someone that loves to thrift. I have a course called Thrifting for a Living, and I'm going to give you three things that I talk about within that course that will help you get through and figure out ways to sell outside of on eBay and Poshmark, okay? So get pen and paper. I'm not going to go into full detail. If you want to go into full detail, you can take the course. But I'm going to give you some top-level information of the three things that you can do and three different ways that you can make money. Um, like I've decided to go back into merchandising. That's one way that I'm doing it but there's some other things to do all right so pen and paper you ready the first thing that you want to do is diversify where you're selling so I sell on Poshmark and eBay I'm about to open an Etsy store because I have a love of vintage I have a lot of vintage and I'm like you know what I need to be where those vintage buyers are so I'm gonna put some stuff on Etsy so there are, those are three places where customers can come and find me and purchase my merchandise I think you're at a loss only selling on one platform. There's some people that can do that and they're fine. But for me, it works. You know, if I'm having a bad week on Poshmark, I'm usually having a better week on eBay and so on and so forth. And so adding Etsy to the mix, to the mix will work for me. There's some people that sell on Poshmark, Mercury, OfferUp, Craigslist, Facebook groups, Instagram, however you want to sell. Just sell on more than one platform so that if one isn't doing that well, I, and this is how I've grown up, maybe it's the Jamaican in me, we've always been taught that if one stream dries up, you want to make sure that you have another stream. And so that's for me, <laughs> for me, that's where it comes from. If one stream of income dries up, just in case, you want to make sure that you have a backup. It's just a side hustle in me. That's how I was brought up, right? The second way that you can make money if you're thrifting, if you're a reseller, is to do boxes. I do thrift boxes. Thrift boxes is where, excuse me, thrift boxes is where I put together looks of clothing, probably two to three looks depending on the price. Uh, it's I, I like a stylist in a box just from the thrift store. Put it together, get the measurements, so on and so forth, ship it to them. There are some people that are doing mystery boxes. 
where they're getting a collection of one size and mailing it to people. That's done on Poshmark a lot. Um, there are people that are doing reseller boxes where if you're in a place that has really great bins, like we have great bins here, they're binning it up and selling to other resellers. So if you if you are already out there thrifting, if you have bins in your area, if you have a great sense of style and you want to start a box business, that's another way that you can bring in in income, okay? The third one that you can do are parties. LuLaRoe and all these other at-home businesses, like, you can do that. You have the inventory. Call a few of your girlfriends, let them know you're having a clothing party, right? Um, and then ask them to bring a friend. Get five girlfriends, tell them to bring a friend. That's ten people that you can have over to your house or maybe a friend's house, um, uh, an activity center of some sort, and have them buy from you. You already have the merchandise. You're already out there you know shopping for people just target it to that audience you can send them a style questionnaire have it be a real fancy party for you that's another way that you can sell the other part of that are pop-up shops <sighs> i have tried pop-up shops they're uh, i'm just gonna be honest i'm a little too lazy <laughs> the setup the presentation the takedown the i'm 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 just not that girl. For me, I love visual merchandising because I like to go into a store with a set merchandise and my mannequins. I just dress them up, make a beautiful floor set. That's my zhuzh. I that's what I just like. I'm a really good stylist because I like to style people. Like I, people are my mannequins. Um, so visual merchandising works for me. Pop up shops, shopping parties. That's not my zhuzh. I can do it but it's just not my judge. If you're the kind of person, you're a lively person in and out, you love to throw a good party, you love to be out there on the sales floor, do a posh party. Not posh party. <laughs> that too. Do a swap party. Do a thrift party. Do some type of party event where you're selling your clothes, okay? So sell on multiple, multiple platforms, sell a box, and launch a party. There you go. Those are other ways that you can bring in income with the same merchandise that you're putting up on Poshmark, eBay, Mercury, OfferUp, whatever. Just more streams of income coming to the coming into your home is the best way to go, I feel, because I promise you, they keep on doing all these updates and changes. And eBay laid off people the other day. My husband sent me that. I said, oh, mm -mm, I don't trust eBay. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. They're going to shut down one day and I'm a merchandise. Uh -uh, nope. I was like... And they could be a reorg, but I don't care. <laughs> they didn't ask me, <laughs> right? They didn't ask me about if they should follow these people. I don't like people having that much control over my business, y'all. I just don't. So these are ways that I make money outside of the parties. These are ways that I bring in money. So I'm going back. To, I'm not saying going back to work because I've always kind of been visual merchandising. But I've taken on some contracts to bring some money in. I have my thrift boxes. have my reselling is still here. And I'm going to make it work. If you want some more information on how I do that, please take the course. It's thrifting for a living. I'm going to leave a little tag right here where you can find it. And I'll leave a link below. If this is for you, it's for you. Learn how to do it. Learn how I bring in multiple streams of income. And find a way. Because <laughs> like I said, I don't trust these jokers. I just don't. They laying off people and algorithm changes. and, and mm -mm, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I need to I need to bring in some money, y'all. All right, that's it. Love you. We never pay retail. Take the course, Thrifting for a Living. It's at deondean.teachable.com if you are interested. Who isn't interested in making money? Who isn't interested? All right, love you. We never pay retail. Mwah. Bye.